My name is Greg Clark. I'm from Local 23 in Indianapolis, and I'm just here to show these brothers some support. You know, just uh, we're all we're all union brothers, and we're all in this together. And this is the reason I'm here to represent to represent my local in support of their cause. Is there a particular piece of advice you might give to uh, the Orion folks? Uh, just they have to stand strong as a as a local. Uh, they have to keep in mind that the membership is the highest authority of their local and uh, move together as, as such. Move together as a unit and not independent of one another. It'll be all right. Do you think that the uh, leadership of the union will hear uh, the people who are out here today? They'll hear them. Yeah, they, they'll hear them, and that's about it. They'll hear them. Whether or not they act on what they hear, it's another story. My name's Nick Wan. I'm a Orient assembly worker. Been laid off since November. Um, my union lied to me, basically. <laughs> he told me I'd be able to come back to work. And uh, just a few weeks ago, he told me, uh, no, well, you have to accept half wages. And it was my understanding that the UAW wasn't like that. So I feel like I was sold out of a membership by the International here. And after that meeting, I went on the International's website try to learn more about them and I saw that they have a program called Gimme Five where Bob King wants people to donate time, organize and to protest injustice. So we're giving him his five. Mike Dunn and his video on the 5960.org website yep. talks about you know, different uh, proposals that they had made to him. So this was all floating around way last year in the beginning of the year. So they knew. I went to every single 5960 meeting. Never once did they say anything until October 3rd. Have you had a chance to speak with him one-on-one? -on -one? No, I think he's in a secure, undisclosed location right now. What, what would you say to him if you got into his bunker? <laughs> what would I say to him? Well, I would, uh, I would want other members present, and I'd probably make a motion to remove him as chairman. Uh, I'm Ron Lair, UAW Local 600 Ford Rouge Plant retiree, and I uh, was a former member of the executive board at Local 600. And I think the new concessions that were proposed in Local 23 and now uh, they were proposed at 23, voted down, and now imposed in the Orion GM plant 5960 are just a new step downward in the downward spiral that's pulling the dominoes down all around the UAW. It was bad enough when uh, the UAW agreed to a 50% pay cut for new hires, but now seniority people who didn't even have a chance to know up front that that's the fate they would suffer when they hired, seniority people who have been on layoff, uh, who have worked for the company for several years, are coming back to half pay. They've already invested several years. What are they going to do? Say, no, I'm going down the street. I'm 45 years old, but I'm going to leave and go somewhere else. They are trapped by this strategy. Uh, and I, I have a message for Bob King, which is that I'm all for social justice. Uh, I'm in favor of the rallies at the School of the Americas, and I am an international solidarity activist first and foremost. But if you don't have justice on the shop floor, uh, what what is it going to mean? You can't just be for social justice and not for economic justice at home because that will ruin the reputation of social justice as well because it will look hip hypocritical. So don't counterpose the two by making one to look out to be hypocritical by not taking care of the other. You hold a line against the corporation. That's what they are doing. When they file bankruptcy, it, it pretty much, we're only in a position to beg for the next four years. Bullshit! You're in a position what? to shut them down! How are you going to shut them down? You, you can't do it! You, you shut them down and you won't have a job! Bullshit! You the bankruptcy! You shut them down! You're in the bankruptcy! Bullshit! You
what did he say? He rather the Lord shine than tell you my dog. And I do that. My boss The sad part is he was a committee man at Lake Orange. And he's saying, what are you trying to say? He's saying we shouldn't be here. We should be at GM arguing with them. They're not the ones cutting our pay. They're the ones that agreed to get our pay. He's a committee man? At Lake Orange. What point was he trying to make just now? He was trying to say that basically it's not the it's, it's not the U, the UAW International that's doing this. It's the company that's doing this. No, it's both of them combined. In my opinion, the, the one's not doing anything to stop the other. Right. They're they're, they're not they're, they're not helping us. He's not helping us. Let's be honest about it. They don't have any incentives to stop us. You know, to stop the company from doing it because they get kickbacks. You know, and they they have a little deal going on. You know, they don't work for us. They work for the are you at Orion too? Yes, he is. What's your name? Jason Hall. Jason? Yes. No, they, they, don't, they don't fight for our rights. They just, you know, say, well, at least you guys still have jobs, or, you know, at least, you know, you didn't lose it. But what about all the stuff we did lose that you didn't fight for? My name's Tony. I'm at that work at the Tech Center. Okay. I'm here to support 5960. For the fact of the matter that they should have had an opportunity and a right to vote yeah. for this issue with regard to two tier, uh, I don't feel it's right. Uh, you don't think that's you don't think that's innovative? What's innovative? The, the, the contract that they had, not the allowing the workers to vote on their innovative. contract. Isn't yeah. that the way the, the way that they categorize? Them? Innovative, innovative in a negative sense, yeah. <laughs> So, if uh, Mr. King were here today, what what would you, message would you give to him? I tell him to go back to the table, start over again, because yeah. what he's done isn't right. What they're doing isn't right. Now they should have had a right to vote for this thing. They should have had a right to accept and decline whether you want to take a decrease in your wage. Uh, the fact of the matter is that if they're allowed to get away with it here at Lake Point in fifty nine sixty, then who's next? Like I say, I'm at the tech center, I could be next. They could come to the tech center or any other plant from that point on and say, okay, and what's with that? 40% now, 50%, 60% later. You know, there's going to be no ending. What, uh, in a larger sense, I mean, the whole idea of two tier, what do you think that does to solidarity, to unionism? And it's dissension in the ranks, it's separation. Uh, how, how was it used to put uh, divide and conquer? We all got together and said we're going to walk out at lunch today. My name's Don Matern. Um, my husband works at Lake Orion. We, he has 11 years seniority. We have three little boys, and we're here. Um, we're here to fight for our heritage. Both of our fathers retired from General Motors, and um, we think that the two-tier system is in violation of people's civil rights. And we definitely know that our rights as union members were violated, and so we're going to take a stand against it. No more two-tier UAW members have the right to vote. Now, what uh, are are you guys having facing decisions based on? The, uh... You know, absolutely. Um, all of the families have been making hard choices since we've been out of work for almost a year. Um, we have talked to friends who've faced foreclosure, they've gone bankrupt, they've given their cars back to the bank. Um, the thing about decisions is, if they would have been honest with us from the beginning, people could have been making these decisions for the last year, but instead we find out right now. So I'm imagining that once the shock is done wearing off, we'll all have some hard choices to make. What, uh, what would the message you'd give to Bob King if he were here today? You know, I, I believe in union democracy, I believe in one member, one vote. I believe in the real type of innovation that means new change, not same old, same old, not being a corporate company union. Um, I know that letters have been written about retooling closed plants for green jobs. Many have written letters about the Mondragon model, which I know Mr. King's familiar with. Um, we have things that we can do to preserve our union and to preserve our industry, but they need to be done quickly. And I would also ask that um, the strike fund and the VIVA be managed properly and that we have a voice in that as well.